Sometimes, despite all the safety precautions taken by the industry as a whole, accidents do happen during routine operations. Fortunately, very few of them occur in the sky where planes genuinely belong and have fewer obstacles to navigate, apart from clear air turbulence and the occasional bird strike. It's arguably more common to hear of collisions on the ground at airports, resulting in varying degrees of passenger and airline inconvenience. That was the case on Friday, August 5th, when a Qatar Airways cargo Boeing 777F crossed paths with a light pole at Chicago O'Hare. The pole remained pretty much intact. The wing, however, did not. The plane, registered as Alpha 7 Bravo Foxtrot Hotel, arrived on Friday to Chicago O'Hare from Atlanta at 2027 local time. It was scheduled to depart again at 2305 and head across the Atlantic for Maastricht. Unfortunately, at this point, not too much is known regarding the cause of the incident. We can say that somewhere in between there was a miscalculation or miscommunication, and the wing of the jet struck a pole, and we can be fairly certain it was not the other way round. Needless to say, the wing-clipped plane never made its next runway appointment and remained on the ground at O'Hare over the weekend. The airline confirmed the incident in a statement, saying, Qatar Airways can confirm that a cargo aircraft, QR8141, operating from Atlanta to Chicago, came into contact with a light post while taxiing at Chicago O'Hare and sustained some damage to the wing. The incident is currently under investigation, and we can confirm that no crew members were injured. The incident seems to have occurred as the aircraft was taxiing after landing on runway 10 Center. Chicago O'Hare is a mega hub with eight runways and over a hundred taxiways. Not all of them are wide enough to accommodate wide-body 777s, and additional taxiway width is also needed at all 90-degree turns. As for the exact reason for the incident, we shall have to wait and see what results the investigation will yield. At the time of making this video, some four days after the incident, the aircraft remains on the ground in Chicago. Thus, it'll also be interesting to see how long the maintenance will take. The aircraft is a 7.5-year-old Boeing 777F registered as Alpha 7 Bravo Foxtrot Hotel. It was delivered to Doha in March 2015 and is one of 26 Boeing 777Fs in the Qatar Airways cargo fleet. The youngest arrived with the operator in June 2021, whereas the oldest has been around since May 2010. The Gulf Carrier's cargo division also flies two 747-8Fs. What do you think may have happened in the case of the Qatar 777 freighter? Was the aircraft on the wrong taxiway due to miscommunication, or was it mere inattentiveness that caused the collision? And how long do you think the plane will be out of commission? Leave a comment below and share your ideas. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.